Welcome to the next series in the evolution unit. This video will be looking at life on earth.8.4.2 number one, identify the major stages in the evolution of living things, including the formation of organic molecules, membranes, prokaryotic heterotrophic cells, prokaryotic autotrophic cells, eukaryotic cells, colonial organisms, and multicellular organisms. So it is believed that the environment on early Earth provided the conditions for inorganic molecules to form organic molecules and then for these organic molecules to react with one another to form more complex organic compounds. So we saw that in the video that we watched on the Yuri and Miller investigation that we started off with these raw materials that were made up of inorganic compounds. The intermediate products were these basic organic compounds and then over time, these were able to become more advanced um, organic compounds here. To metabolize effectively, complex organic compounds needed to separate from their surroundings and form membranes, which would have resulted in the first primitive cells. These early cells may have obtained their energy by absorbing organic molecules from their environment. So they were taking energy in, they weren't producing their own energy. So these cells may not have had any membrane bound organelles. So they were our first prokaryotic heterotrophic cells. So a prokaryotic cell doesn't have any membrane bound organelles. So it doesn't have a nucleus, doesn't have mitochondria. And as we know, heterotrophic means that it needs to absorb their energy from somewhere else. So these simple organisms were around before organisms were able to create their own food. So once the ozone layer formed, cells may have developed the ability to make their own food via photosynthesis by consuming cyanobacteria, which were uh, basic prokaryotic cells. So this ended up creating the first prokaryotic autotrophic cells. So again, prokaryotic, meaning we have no membrane bound organelles, but autotrophic now being able to create their own food by photosynthesis. Uh, cells over time needed to develop specialized compartments to carry out different chemical reactions. Then this would have been our first eukaryotic cells. So as we know, mitochondria and chloroplast that possibly would have originated as bacterial cells came into these cells and then they became the organelles that had a membrane around them. So eukaryotic cells are those that have a true nucleus. So you, we usually say true, karyotic is in reference to the nuclear compartment. Many of the cells that have formed to date may have then worked together in a cooperative group and this would have led to our first colonial organisms. So uh, organisms were working together, different organisms within the group were carrying out different functions, and this would have resulted in a colony type uh, relationship where they were all helping each other out. Then over time, cells would have become more complex, more organized, they had specialized parts that did uh, particular things and as they came together they would have formed our multicellular organisms. So we started off with a single cell that was able to then ingest bacterium and things which then became our eukaryotic cells. Then these cells worked together in colonies. Then over time these different cells within the colonies became more specialized and eventually the colony basically became an individual organism that was made up of a number of different cells. So if we just have a look at it really quickly as we move through, we started off with the formation of organic molecules. Then we had the formation of membranes. Then we had our prokaryotic heterotrophic cells formed that uh, were absorbing their nutrients from the atmosphere, which then led to our prokaryotic autotrophic cells who had consumed those bacteria that were able to photosynthesize. Then we had the formation of our eukaryotic cells, which are those with membrane bound organelles once these uh, cells had these organelles inside them that were able to carry out particular jobs, we then had colonial organisms formed where a number of the cells with the same, uh, sorry, the no a number of the same type of cells got together and created a colony. And then lastly, 
we had those colonies turn into multicellular organisms where each of the different cells carried out a different function. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.